In today's video, we are opening one of Yu-Gi-Oh's rarest items, a sealed box of Tournament Pack 1. What's up, everybody? We are back with an insane old school opening that you already know based on the title in the intro. This is a very basic looking white box right here, but that's because this is the early days of tournament pack, which they still kind of do basic looking boxes for like tournament pack OTS and all that stuff. But this is the original tournament pack, the first ever. So the way tournament pack works is it started as tournament pack as tournament pack one through eight. They didn't change the name champion pack for champion pack one through eight. Then it became turbo pack, turbo pack one through eight, astral pack, astral pack one through eight. And then now they're on OTS 25. For some reason, they stopped doing eight and they just were like, whatever, we're just going to do OTS to a million because that's what they're doing, I guess. So this is the first ever. This is regular tournament pack. The first one came out in December of 2002, I believe. Inside, you can get the legendary mechanical chaser, Axe Raider, a lot of these really cool cards that came in ultra rare, super rare. Ultra rares in one of these is one in 108. So there's lots to talk about as we get through, but first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away. Speaking of Axe Raider, this is not a TP1, but this is a TP3 Axe Raider. So old school school tournament pack rares i mean rares as we'll talk about as we go through are actually pretty valuable to get in here because it's not guaranteed rares three card packs sometimes you only get comments so to enter that giveaway just like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know down below will we pull the mechanical chaser last time we opened this I did pull it, so I'm hoping that we can do it. This one is actually, so the story with this, this was a box break for a live stream. What happened was Alex H bought every single pack. So we decided we just do a video. So because he bought every single box break pack, we are now opening it for Alex H on a video. So this should be pretty cool. This video is sponsored by U2s. U2s has just dropped another exclusive collection on their website. And if you don't know what U2s is, they have an awesome website where they sell collectible plushies, collectible figures, etc., including stuff like this new Pot of Greed, nine inch plushie. It's literally as big as my head. Yeah, I could be Pot of Greed right now. Just imagine, editor, put this on my head and that'd be Avatar of the Pot. Creepy, right? They've also just released awesome new items such as the Blue Eyes White Dragon Chrome. It's limited edition. We have a limited edition Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, which they sent me and it looks incredible. The limited edition Exodia, I think might be my favorite item. It's close with the Pot of Greed plushie because the plushie is just amazing. The Red Eyes Black Dragon is another cool item that they just dropped. Here's one that I didn't get, but I think looks really awesome. The Dark Magician Girl plushie. It's the same size as the Pot of Greed, but it's Dark Magician Girl. So I know a lot of you fans out there that like Dark Magician Girl, you can go grab that. Obviously, as a huge fan of Yu-Gi-Oh, I am super excited about these items so if you have not yet go check them out with the link down in the description this is one of the coolest sponsors i get to do because it includes Yu-Gi-Oh merch and i am a huge fan of Yu-Gi-Oh merch now that i've kind of cleaned up my house area i've got more places to put them so i'm very excited about this if you guys want to grab some for yourself don't forget to check out the link in the description to get yours thanks again to youtube for sponsoring this video there's another thing we need to mention and that is but i know i'm chatting a lot is that we don't actually know for sure that this is tp1 because you know as you can tell there is i think this is somebody's name that i don't, I don't know what that is but there's no markings. I mean, it says this. I mean, this is what they all looked like with original tournament packs. So we could have a chance that we get to bamboozled and we got to figure that out. But um, we're pretty sure this is TP1. So let's just go ahead, get right to it and break this box open. This is a really rare item. Who knows? This could be the last time I ever opened this. I didn't expect to be opening another box of this after the first or the last time I did it, which was the first time I had done it. So let's just find out. Let's make sure that we got the TP1 packs and get to a 20 packs inside are what we can expect. So... Open this thing up. There it is. Tournament pack for season. Let's go through and make sure there's 20 packs inside because that should be how many there are. Okay, look at that. Three cards per pack. So only 60 total cards in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 packs. So yes, that looks right. It is interesting how like uh, you can see the tournament pack has like varying different browns because like they're all a little bit different. Very strange. Early on, you know, craziness with the tournament pack it was literally the first one. I'm going to mix these up very carefully because, you know, these there's only three cards per pack. They're not that solid. Uh, the box, it's great and all, but it doesn't serve a very good purpose of displaying. So we're just going to move it out of the way. We have 20 packs to be open today. Usually it's one in 18 for a super, I think. I think it's one in 18 or one in 20. I think it's one in 18 and then one in 108 to get an ultra. So if you get a foil at all, it's great. If you get the ultra, you just go crazy. So. Any rares are awesome too, because I think they're one in three. So we're going to start it off. The top cards we want to pull in here. I pulled up a few eBay listings. Looks like Axe Raider PSA 10 sold for $14.50 just uh, about a month ago. Uh, the, uh, what was the other? Quagar Hercules sold for $1,000 in March. Uh, Mech Chaser is available right now for $3,000, but so it's a little bit less 
than that, something like that. So big cards, let's go. And some of the rares graded are actually money too. I think it was the uh, the Blue Medicine, $650 PSA 10 as a rare. That was in January, so that's pretty insane. So if you get some of these rares, I mean, hopefully Alex is gonna grade a bunch of these cards, like the commons can be graded if they get, you know, of course they're, if they're centered and everything, but if they get tens, they, they do pretty well. So first pack, let's go. I don't know where the rare is, if there is a rare in this pack, because there may or may not be. First pack, we have the WoW Warrior World of Warcraft, a fish with arms, legs, and some very sharp teeth. Okay, very nice. Wudon, resident of the forest. And these are, that one's a little off-centered. The Judgment Hand. I feel like the Judgment Hand used to be a pretty good one. Those are all off-centered, unfortunately, but they're all worth a few bucks in and of themselves. But if you, you know, if you get the PSA 10s, it's a lot better. So we're going to be really careful with all these uh, comments as we go through. Shouldn't be an overly long video because we have only 20 packs, three cards per pack. So just enjoy it while you're seeing it. I mean, who knows if I'll ever open tournament pack season one again in terms of a lot of packs. I'll probably open one or two packs here and there, but this is very fun. So shout out to Alex again for purchasing all the packs. So good luck. Everyone wish him luck. In in the comments let me know down below will we get the mech chaser will we get a foil i mean we just want a foil for sure okay ocelo hero number two numero dos hercules beetle this is a classic one centering looks better on this one it's not perfect but a massive beetle with a tough carapace and a dangerous horn wait where's the horn oh that's the horn i thought it was his mouth now that i'm looking at it those are pincers that's that's a horn not a mouth okay finally looking at it and Oh, a steel shell. That's a rare. And the centering on it is not terrible. Okay, let's leave this thing up right away. Back looks pretty clean. Yeah, this is something that you probably want to get graded if you think you can get a 10. It's borderline because the centering uh, from the bottom to the top is pushed up. But honestly, it's probably worth a shot. Even a PSA 9, you probably get a decent amount on out of it. But the 10s are really what people are looking for. All right, two packs in. We already have a rare. Not bad. It's a pretty good one. Steel Shell. Let's see if we can continue to pull some crazy cards as we go. And let's, let's try to keep these wrappers nice as I can, at least. This one, that one's not wanting to, but there we go. We got it through. So it looks like the rare slash foil is in the back. So I'm going to be careful, really careful with those back cards. We have the WoW Warrior. Wow, buddy. All right. If we get a foil, we definitely want Axe Raider. It's possible to get both Axe Raider and Mech Chaser. That's the insane box that we could get that we really want. We have Wudon and we have uh, Axe Raider. Super rare. Yes, the best super in the set. Okay, how's it look? Looks pretty clean. Oh, that's really good. That's a great card. Centering on it is not not terrible. You look at it, it's pushed up a little bit. Left to right looks pretty good. A little bit pushed right, a little bit pushed up. Overall, I think it has a chance. PSA 10, centering wise. It back looked pretty clean from what I could tell. So honestly, wow, this is a really good pull. Okay, incredible card. Literally, this is the best card in the set besides the Mech Chaser. So let's just do that. Just sleeve that up. I'm just going to put it in there just to keep it nice and safe already because this is a big time card. Okay, that's awesome. First time I've ever pulled that card. Only three packs in. We have Axe Raider. Now I have high hopes. I have high hopes. I think it's possible to get double supers too because wait, let me look. Let me look at the ratios. I think it is one in 18. Yeah, it's one in 18. So technically, if you think about it, you know, there's 20 packs in there. You know, if you get lucky, you could maybe get two and 20, right? You get the one. So, okay, we, we are not going to get like a dud box or anything like that. That's already good news. If we can get a second super or an ultra, this would be a really great box. So that's what we're holding out for. We have a lot of packs left. There's still potential at some nice rares as well. So we want to grab all of those if we can. We have Kugata Alpha. Cyber Soldier of Dark World, the original Dark World card. Man. Also low hero. So there is a super or a bunch of not super. Is, I'm just used to it being the last card being a super nowadays, but all commons. All right. Tournament pack season one. These are not cheap packs. They're very expensive. So we want to get some good stuff out of them and try to keep the packs. Nice pack artwork. So I can just put them back in that box and ship them off with some great cards that we pulled. Let's see. We have the bean soldier, a plant warrior that attacks with seeds and sword. Very nice. The corroding shark. Cockroach Knight. Cockroach Knight is pretty cool, too. The Bean Soldier is pretty awesome. I mean, I'm not going to lie. We got to take a second look at him. This would be a pretty sick PSA 10. I'm not going to lie. We are doing about as well as you can hope for in TP1 to start. Can we continue the luck and pull another foil? Just one more foil is all we need, especially if it is that Mech Chaser. Because I pulled one before. You guys remember the iconic moment where for some reason I start talking about the centering before I even celebrated. Okay, we have the Hercules Beetle. I know, it's cringe. We have a uh, Bean Warrior, or Bean Soldier, sorry, and 
Ooh, the Gust Fan. Very nice. Gust Fan as a rare. Sintering. Honestly, I think this Sintering is good enough on these rares. It's borderline, but it's. I think it's good enough. And honestly, it looks pretty solid. So, Gust Fan, the back. Yeah, a couple little marks in the middle, but still probably worth a shot. Especially since you can send everything in in bulk now. Uh, bulk submission level, which is 15 bucks a pop. So it's not a huge risk. Let's keep going. We're not even halfway through. This has been a very fun opening so far. Alex, you're doing well. I think you're doing pretty well so far. Shining Friendship. This is one of the top cards, I think, common-wise. Uh, Statue of the Easter Island. Little uh, Ninth Museum action. Yep. The Judgment. Uh, okay. Another common. Another common of the judgments. All right, let's keep it going. This kind of worked out because I feel like this would have been a fun live stream, but at the same time, it'd be really short because <laughs> it's only like three card packs or whatever. So it's more, I feel like it's better suited for a video. Kind of worked out. All right, we have Corroding Shard. Just give us that mech chaser. Come on, 1850 attack. That's what we want to see. Cockroach Knight. And come on, give it to us. Shining Friendship. Okay, more commons. All right, that's fine. We're just saving it for the rares coming up very soon in first edition. Not first edition, first season of TP. Not first edition, because they didn't come in first ed in tournament packs. Because they didn't used to do first eds for reprint sets, and then they started doing it for some reason. Let's see what we got left in here. Can we get another foil? We have the WoW Warrior World of Warcraft. We have Ned Museum and the Judgment Hand makes a return, an all-powerful hand that delivers ruthless attacks and also likes to appear in every single pack. Okay. Tournament pack season one. So far, you've been pretty good to us, tournament pack season one. But can you be great to us? I mean, great would be ultra rare and super rare. That would definitely be great. That's basically the dream box. That's the only way we can top our last time uh, pulls. We have the Winged Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress, number two. The Giant Flea, a harmless little flea. Okay, a little, uh, what is that called? Uh, Emperor's New Group. And... Ooh, Beast Queen. Beast Queen, Beast King of the Swamp. All right, very cool. He got a reprint uh, in TP5, I think he, he showed back up. So he's a fusion material. Very cool, Beast King of the Swamp. Use that for your Dragon Master Magia. Pretty awesome. All right, season one. Be pretty cool to open a tournament pack two box. That would be pretty sick. That is something I have never done, actually. Plus, you got the chance at the uh, the uh, Genzo Jar. Cool, got to Alpha. We got Cyber Soldier of Dark World, the original Dark World, and. Ocelo Hero, another common. That's fine. Commons are all solid. They're all pretty good. We're at three, six, nine packs left. So we just crossed the halfway mark of the 20 pack box. So far, I'd say we're doing pretty well. We have high hopes for another uh, another foil. It's very unlikely probably, but I still have high hopes that it'll happen. It's like a, you know, slight chance there's another super. There's a chance that we get the ultra box. That's what we need. Wild Warrior. What if we got like a crazy box where the Ultra's in there and then like another super? That would be insane. Wodan. So here are number two. They also heroes love to show up. We have both number one and number two in here. This is nerve wracking. Nerve wracking, guys. We want to pull something good. Trying to keep all these cards and these packs really nice. Haven't opened anything this old since we opened LOB, probably. No, we did MRL since then. I guess MRL is technically as old. We have the Winged Dragon. For some reason, these feel older because they turned it back one, you know? Giant Flea. Ooh, and a Rime. Okay, you can decrease your opponent's life points by 300. Oh, pretty powerful. Nice rare. Pretty nice little lightning strike right there. Pretty awesome artwork. Okay, still uh, seven. I feel like I, we had 10 when I thought we had nine left. Okay, still a lot of potential in tournament pack one. Let's do it. I can't believe we pulled Axe Raider. That's pretty amazing. Right at the beginning, too. Axe Raider, Mech Chaser, the best box you can ask for. Kugata Alpha. We have Cyber Soldier of Dark World and the Ocelo Hero. Okay, Ocelo Hero is always the third card for some reason. He wants to be a rare really bad. Sorry, buddy, you didn't quite make the cut. Let's see if we can make the cut right here. Pull something big. Wild Warrior, World of Warcraft. We have Wudan and... Super the white hole. Oh my goodness, the epic counter to dark hole. Double super pack. No way. This is insane. No way. That is incredible. We pulled the legendary white hole. Shout out to MBT. That is incredible. Dark hole counter. If you ever someone tries to play dark hole and you flip up white hole, I mean, there's no chance it's gonna happen. That is insane. Two supers and one TP one box that is awesome okay what are the chances i uh spoken into existence with a mech chaser and two supers earlier what are the chances what are the chances so we have two supers already uh, how many rares four rares okay 
That makes sense. So we have five packs left. Oh my gosh, Alex. Good luck. Good luck. This could be crazy if we if we get a if we get a mech chaser. Oh my gosh. If we get a mech chaser, this will be the greatest TP1 opening ever. One in 108. So we've got less than a 20% chance out of a box. Hercules Beetle and Burning Spear. Okay, another rare. Cool. Centering looks pretty good. Man, these cards are pretty nice, actually, surprisingly, for what you would expect. Okay, good stuff. Four packs left. This is really good. If you guys have enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe because we'll be doing some crazy stuff, uh, you know, in preparation for 250,000 subs. Uh, once we get there, that's when we're really doing the crazy stuff. I'm making some plans for quarter mil. So if you want to see crazy openings, make sure you subscribe. And if you want to support the channel, go check out Ruxin34.com. All right, Bean Soldier. Running shark, and here we go. One more card, cockroach knight. Okay, that's fine. That's fine because we've had some pretty amazing pulls. Five rares, two supers so far. Should get six to seven rares. You should get really one super, and we got two. So, really good. Ultras, you shouldn't get one. <laughs> Maybe you will, but you shouldn't. You shouldn't really get one on average. So that's why we're hoping we get one and we can freak out. Axe Raider, beautiful. We have shiny friendship, the statue of the Easter Island head, and. The Judgment Hand makes his appearance. Those Judgment Hand and the Oslo Heroes love to be in that last common slot. Two packs left, everybody. Wow, what an opening so far. Tournament pack one turned out pretty good. Congratulations, Alex, for the good pull so far. Let's try to pull one more big thing. We have the Wing Dragon Guardian of the Fortress, the Giant Flea. Oh, and Goddess with the Third Eye. Another rare. Very nice. Six rares. Looking good on that end. I just want to mention before you open the last pack, Apparently, the Bean Soldier is $16 on TCG, so it's actually a crazy card. <laughs> $16, the Wing Dragon Garden Fortress number two is 11 so some of these comments, just like without grading, are pretty expensive. So last pack magic, guys. If you guys have enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe. I definitely have. Alex, good luck on your final pack. Congrats on your pulls so far. Here we go. Stop for a second, my face, So, but we have the, we have the footage of the opening end, so thank goodness. So... Last pack. Let's get through this before it does it again. I need to clear some space on my on my disc, apparently. Let's get this thing open, just in case there's a mech chaser. All right. Last pack. We have the Kubagata Alpha Cyber Soldier of Dark World. Let's not rush this too much, but I don't want it to stop. If this is a mech chaser, it's going to be insane. Here we go. Okay, also low hero. So I didn't, and nothing, we don't have to explain anything we didn't pull anything crazy but that was an amazing box opening hope you guys enjoyed it i certainly did and hopefully we'll be able to open more crazy stuff like this in the future we're planning for that for 250 000. shout out to toll info show and esto dna america deutscher kk beats brandon cheney ian musa jr barding robert f changeling and adelso garcia jr thank you guys for supporting the channel i'll see you guys next time peace